database transactions. This is a way of keeping our database in sync by combining multiple database operations into one single action to ensure consistency in our data. And now this is available inside of AppWrite's database. So all database transactions are, are essentially a collection of queries or database operations that can be initiated as one single action, ensuring that all the operations within that transaction are submitted successfully. So if something goes wrong within a single operation within a transaction, automatically we roll everything back and nothing happens. So it's either everything or nothing. And this allows us to keep our data consistent without any partial updates. Now, when might you want to use something like this? Well, there's actually quite a bit of examples, but one simple one is within a banking application. So imagine an action that requires multiple operations, like sending a user money. So we submit send or we click the send button. And first, we might want to perform an operation to subtract money from the sender's account. And then the next operation would be to add money to the recipient's account. Well, what happens if there's a failure in this process? So you hit send, we subtract money from your account, but there's a network error, something goes wrong, and the recipient doesn't get it. Now this money is kind of out there, it's floating, the data is now inconsistent. Now with database transactions, we can actually avoid this because we group this action together. And if that failure happens somewhere in this process, essentially we just roll everything back and nothing happens at all. Now to take advantage of this with AppWrite, you're gonna wanna use the new transactions API, which gives you a structured workflow and methods for handling multi-step record operations with atomic guarantees. So essentially you're still performing the same actions that you normally would, such as create, update, and delete row. Only now with transactions, you're first gonna stage these actions or queue them to the server. And then once you're ready to commit them, you can go ahead and perform the commit action. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this will actually work. So this is actually a three-step process. It's very simple to do. So first of all, you're going to want to create a transaction. So for this, we have the create transaction method, and this is going to return an instance of this transaction to which we just need the ID. So we're going to go ahead and save that transaction ID. We're going to store this. And then from there, we need to go ahead and stage our operations. And there's actually two ways of doing this. So the traditional way is to go ahead and call the same methods that you normally would. So create row, update row, or delete row. Here we go ahead and pass in the same stuff, database ID, table ID, row ID or item ID, and then the data. Now, the difference here is here we have a transaction ID that we can pass in. So once we pass in, this won't actually execute this. It's going to put this into that staging environment. So that's one way to do it. Now, the other way is to go ahead and stage these with many operations, and we can use the create operations method for this. So here, instead of calling each method individually, it's the same thing, but instead we're passing in the transaction ID. And then every operation that we want to perform, we just pass this in as an array of objects. So the action is going to be the same. So we throw in the create action, we pass in the database ID, table ID, row ID, along with the data. So we're essentially just grouping these together. So that's two ways of doing this. We staged our operations. Now, in order to actually commit this, we're going to go ahead and call the update transaction method. This is what we use to actually commit it. So we call update transaction, we pass in the transaction ID, and we can set commit to true. If we want to roll back, we can also roll these back as well. At this point, AppWrite takes care of the rest for us. And if anything happens, something goes wrong in this process, we don't have to worry about it. AppWrite handles all of that for us. So that's database transactions in a nutshell. If you want to learn more, I'm linking up the documentation as well as any articles that are relevant to this. Those are all in the video description. So make sure to check those out and I'll see you all in the next video.